today I'm gonna do another chit chat, get ready with me. But I'm gonna be talking about friendships, relationships, mostly friendships. Um, but some of these things can apply to relationships as well. Um, this topic has been on my heart for quite a while. Um, and then I've had some like confirmation from other places. Like, you know, I would see things and I'm like, okay, yeah, I need to talk about this. Um, and just like, I don't even want to say like disclaimer because I'm gonna be as real as I know how to be, which is real. And just, this is not about anyone specific. This is, of course, you know, some of these things are personal experiences, things that I have personally been through with friendships, but I'm not, this is not like a messy video or, you know, nothing like that. So, I, you know, I'm not here to make anyone feel bad or make anyone feel like Kind of the thing that I want to talk about the most is how friendships change. Um, how friendships evolve, how friendships come about, how they may end, the difference in college friendships and adult friendships from my experience, um, and just kind of throughout my life. <laughs> so um, for me, um, I grew up as the only girl. I have three brothers. And so my mom, of course, was the only girl in the house and the only girl that I felt like was my friend and still to this day my mom is my best friend um, so that kind of set the tone for me as far as how I approached friendships and girls and things of that nature um, I've never been the one to have a lot of girlfriends um, you know how you grow up and people like oh you see all these like shows where it's like 10 group of girls and all that stuff like that was never me growing up especially um I like to play outside with my brothers and play football and you know do all that type of stuff so that's that was me that's kind of what I took to school that was you know that was just me so um of course like throughout middle school um and I guess even elementary like I have friends and people that I will play with but I never felt like this is like my best friend or probably then I probably was like oh this is my best friend blah 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 up until like middle school where I met um one of my friends and me and her was like okay you know we were best friends or whatever that carried on probably till till like high school um like freshman year high school and that was the last time we had went to school together and then things changed things happened we kind of lost contact um, but fast forward, I had other friends throughout high school. Um, most of them I still talk to to this day and would consider sisters. Like I, we call each other sisters um, and that's just the relationship that we built. So those are my close friends. Skip, you know, to college. So I went to college um, by myself and I didn't know anyone going into college. So, um... My friend lived in a dorm, Brockman, shout out to them, Horn Frogs, go TCU. And, um, and that's where I met most of my friends. But if you know, you know, beat up, shout out to beat up. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so we built a close bond. It was a good amount of us. Um, and I mean, everybody that knew us, knew us as beat up. Like, we you wouldn't see at least one without the other you wouldn't see you know oops you wouldn't see we wouldn't go nowhere without each other if it was a party we was there if it was you know we was going to eat after class it was all of us so that was my first real experience of first of all being with a substantial amount of girls um and having those relationships and you know just I'm like I said I've never had a sister I've never had to live with another girl except for my mom and my mom's a woman so <laughs> I've never had to live with another girl so that was that was new for me because I was just like okay hold on I'm used to being the only one with attitude sometime you know like all this stuff so anyways that was an adjustment but we from from my personal experience I've never gotten to a fight with any of my close friends I've never had drama within my friend circle like you know within us I've never had that I've never never experienced that which I'm very thankful for um, 
And I think that all kind of has to do with communication, knowing each other's personality, knowing yourself, knowing your personality. Of course, you grow and you learn things, but knowing who you are and knowing how you respond to people, knowing who you get along with and don't get along with saves drama, in my opinion. So I've never had drama, never fell out with anyone, never had like, you know, people be like, oh yeah, we fell out. We had this big argument, disagreement or whatever. I honestly don't. I've never had that. Like, yes, we've argued or not, not, probably not even argued. We've had disagreements or stuff that, you know, we'll kind of check each other about, but it's never been anything crazy or whatever. So anyways, that was my first experience with having a lot of girls around. Um, so that was my idea of friendship. Like, you're with your friends every day, but that wasn't me. Like, me personally, especially now, like, I don't have to be around my friends every day. I don't necessarily have to talk to them every day. Um, of course, that kind of depends on the person and who you're friends with. Like, some people talk to their best friends and their friends every single day. That's just not me. I just, that's just never been me. So, um, anyways, yeah. So, throughout college, like I said, we were super close, super tight. And... Of course, as we started to mature, have different interests, although we were still like all close and big group of friends, of course, there were little clusters of friends. Um, and there was nothing wrong with it. We all, for me personally, I respected it because we all had different interests. Some of us didn't want to go out. Some of us, you know, didn't want to do this or that. So you kind of clung to the people that wanted to do those things that you wanted to do. That's normal. So, um, anyways that was that was college and going into adult one, adulthood once we all graduated a lot of us um well some of us weren't aren't from texas some of us moved back home some of us stayed some of us went on to our masters life continued so with that being said you know we didn't see each other every day so that means we didn't talk to each other every day um and those those bonds changed but to me, I would still consider them my friends. Like, those are still my friends. Um, no matter no matter if I see them every day, no matter if we talk every day, no matter if I was whatever, those are still my friends. Um, and the thing that I think that was hard and is still kind of hard for most people is knowing that friendships change and that it's okay. Um, and knowing that Oh, my voice got shaky when I was doing this. Um, knowing that friendships change, but it's okay for them to change. And, like, knowing, just kind of understanding, like, I mean, unless there's some unspoken drama or some unspoken something with somebody, you know, that most of the time people, life just goes on. Life life happens. We all adapt different different lives, different responsibilities that we have to take care of and not necessarily saying that friendships aren't top priority but that's just not real life anymore you know like I don't we don't have the time to to go to lunch or you know do something in the middle of the day because we have jobs or we have a husband or we have relationships or we have a business or whatever it is we got stuff to do so things have changed um that also that also goes into making time and knowing knowing how you are and knowing what you can give and knowing what you can necessarily like do for a friendship so if you're the type of person like me for example i'll use me for example like i said before i don't talk to my friends every day but i also do make the effort which i know some people will disagree with this but this is just me um, I make an effort to, if I do see them on social media or if I do think of them or whatever it is, I make sure to say something. I make sure to support my friends and whether or not they feel differently or, and this isn't, like I said, this is not to anyone specific. So, um, I make an effort to congratulate my friends, whether or not I'm there, whether or not I've been there through the journey, whether or not, you know, whatever. I make the effort to do that and for me that's a big part of maintaining friendships relationships or whatever is making that effort 
and there's people that'll tell you oh you need to you need to talk to your friends or social media isn't a way to talk to your friends or whatever it is but y'all have to, we have to realize that we're in 2018 a lot of stuff happens on social media and if that's where a lot of us are spending our time that's where we're going to see our friends and that shouldn't be your only form of contact yes but if you can maintain a relationship and maintain communication through social media then so be it do what works for you don't listen to don't shoot don't even listen to me <laughs> do what works for you and your relationships do what you feel works best but don't let anyone tell you oh you only you know you only talk to me on social media or we're not friends you know whatever it is like don't i mean if that's how they feel about you then you probably don't need to be friends because people have to understand like we have lives and that whole make time for what's important and blah blah blah, blah. like yes that's important and you know like i said do what works for your friendships and you know as long as you and your friend understand or whatever it is and you know you put in effort maintain your relationship the way you know how um and the thing about checking on your friends and all of that so and yes i can do better um but for me i feel like if i'm the only one checking on somebody and I don't get that reciprocated, I'm gonna pull back and I may not check on you all the time. Because if I'm always being the one, hey, how are you, just thought about you, blah, 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 and then you give me all of this, all of this, all of this, oh, this is going on, this is going on, I'm okay, I'm, I'm you know, da, 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 and I'm like, okay, you know, and I don't get none of that back. And not saying that that should be the only reason you check on your friends, but, you have to know that if you're the only one giving, 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 what are, you know, you can't, I heard this really good quote, actually, and I think it was on, like, Steve Harvey Radio or something, and, um, dang, what did he say? He said, if you allow people to keep making withdrawal, withdrawals, <laughs> withdrawals, however you say that word, withdrawals, and not deposits into your life, you're going to end up in the negative. So, if you're constantly giving 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 that person's just taking 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 and they're not depositing back in your life they're not sewing back into your life they're not checking on you then okay now i've taken on everything that you've given me and now i feel the way you feel and that's just me personally because i tend to i'm always i tend to be the person you know that i'll listen and i'll take on I kind of, I'm very empathetic. I'll use that word. I'm very empathetic, um, hence the profession I'm in and going into, um, which is counseling, if y'all don't know that. But anyways, um, so it's natural for me to listen to all those things and take in all those things and give, give, give. But then it's like, okay, when when is it my turn? When is it my turn to say, this is how I'm feeling, this is how I'm feeling without having to ask you first? If I got to ask you first then for me, I don't, I don't want to always have to do that. So if you feel like you're constantly giving, giving, and giving, and giving into this relationship, you asking, oh, do you want to go here? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And you're always doing that, and that's never reciprocated, then maybe you should pull back and evaluate that friendship. Maybe they, you know, maybe they're in a slump and whatever it is, and you're helping them out of that. But if you're always helping them out of that and you don't see them there to celebrate your good times or help you out of your you know your slump then for me that's it's not always beneficial to keep those people around because that can be draining it's really draining to have somebody that you like i mean because it gets to the point where you <sighs> let me check on the you know like it becomes like a chore um and it's different in understanding that someone's going through something and being there for them and that being, you know, part of your friendship and the difference of that being your friendship, that you always there for them. They always going through something, but it's not reciprocated. So maintaining the friendship is a two way street. And if you're not, if you're not being fed into and you're not, you know, being given and you just always feel a certain type of way after, you, <coughs> excuse me, there's a difference in like being there for someone and that being part of your relationship um 
you know, being there for them, that is part of friendship. But if that is the only time y'all talk is when you're checking on them and they always got something and it's just never, you know, it's never positive, it's never, there's never an end to it, then maybe that should, you know, that's a red flag for me. Like, okay, I'm drained. Like, I can't give you no more because you done took it all and you're not feeding back into me. Um, and maintaining a friendship is just a two-way street. It takes two people to be in a friendship. It takes two people to be in a relationship. So if one person is always putting in the work, they're going to be tired. And they it's going to either make them resent you because they're not getting poured back into, first of all. And it's, it's going to turn into, I'm always doing this for so-and-so. Or, you know, like, it, it it's human nature. It happens. So that that's that's a part of friendship like you have to know how to maintain your relationships and friendships but you also have to know when to let them go and love that person from a distance and loving someone from a distance doesn't necessarily mean you gotta go to them and be like I can't take this you know like people understand people get it when when okay maybe I should check on you know check on them or whatever so and it's okay. It's okay to be friends from a distance. You know, <laughs> so distance, that's okay. If you if you got to do it for your mental health and your sanity, you definitely need to do it because it's not okay to always feel like you're you're being get you you're giving and you're being taken 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 and nothing's been being poured back into you. Um and that kind of goes into the next thing I kind of want to talk about was support and showing support in friendships and being a supportive friend. And I think you you see a lot in true people, true colors show when it comes time to support somebody. So for me, like I said, I may not have been there through the process of some things happening for my friends or, you know, I wasn't the first to know the business plan or whatever the case may be but when I do know about it I'm gonna support you and whether that's me telling you congratulations I'm proud of you and you know constantly saying it every time I see something happening or whatever it is or checking on you hey how's it going how's this going I know you said you got this coming up blah blah, blah. how's that going or that leads to me you know um, buying your product or whatever they get the way whatever the case is. Um, and when for me especially with starting starting my YouTube channel a lot of people didn't know that this has been something that I wanted to do so when I did finally do it kind of just without telling anyone but um, my mom and my boyfriend you know like some my other family or whatever so when I finally did it without like the anticipation of oh I want to do this I want to do this or people expecting me to do it and seeing the support that I got was like mind-blowing to me people that you know like I said I may not have talked to every day or that I may not have you know whatever it is people are supporting me supporting my channel hey Mimi I subscribe to you I like this video da 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 and people like I said that I would never have thought really even paid attention to me or people you know that I'm just friends with social media whatever the case may be they have shown me support that I'm super appreciative of and I love it and um like I'm super thankful because like I said this has been something that I wanted to do for a while so when I finally got up built enough courage to do it um I was very happy so but with that it kind of also shows the other end of it people that you thought would have supported people that you thought would be like, oh, I, you know, just simple stuff, simple, simple stuff of saying something. People that you thought that would have, that would have done that, where they at? Nowhere to be found. But if I was always there, always there, and not saying that they have to say something, but they, you know what I mean? Like, you just know, you know. And so, for me, I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm gonna I'm love you from a distance, you can love me from a distance, but at the same time, I'm I'm kind of blunt. Um, and my mom used to joke. She used to be like, I don't see how you have friends because, you know, I'm I'm a fire sign. If anybody kind of believes in that kind of stuff, but I'm a little, a little, you know, a little 
a little spicy. <laughs> so I can be a lot to handle, especially when I say things like, and I can mean them in the most kind of way or whatever. So you too. <laughs> yeah. Baby, that's, you gonna give, okay, okay, all right, all right, thank you. So if I got a dark mark down my cheek, <laughs> um, be anyway, so, you know, just, you know, you just know. And so for me, that was kind of a big like, okay, I'm gonna love you from a distance, and if you are supporting me, thank you, or whatever, and if you're not, thank you, because... I got plenty of people that are, and I'm supporting me. God supported me. You know? Um, so, for me, just just when you, when, when you have people that show up for you, appreciate it. And when you have people that don't show up for you, make note of it. And continue to, you know, love them from a distance. Take that to whatever however you want to deal with it take that for me it's like people's mind automatically goes to the negative and not saying the mind doesn't but in this scenario it's like okay why like you know why can you why can you do a simple task of saying oh congrats or if they don't congratulate you when you up but they kick you when you down or they want to hear about when you down or that's the only time y'all talk is when somebody's down that's not a beneficial relationship and i don't want nobody that's only around me for the negative or hating when i tell them something positive and if i tell you something positive and your response is like oh you know like I i'm just not here for it i'm not um so if you're for me and if for anyone in if that person is not beneficial to you in some way shape or form if that person is not sewn into your life in some way shape or form if that person is not deposited into your account then maybe it's time to close that account maybe it's time to end that friendship maybe it's time to love them from a distance maybe it's time to just be like you know what that friendship was for a season and that's okay it doesn't have to end ugly it doesn't have to be this big hoopla it just that's just how it be and stuff happens for a season people happen for a season i put some highlight on here because i'm just talking um you know stuff happens and people grow apart and maybe that's just what happens when you know when you don't see support and maybe that person is just you know doing their own thing and that's fine and i'm totally okay with doing my own thing because like i said first of all as adults, we have a lot of things. We have more responsibilities now. We have full-time jobs. I'm in school full-time. I have a relationship. I have friendships. I have other things that, you know, that consume my time more than they did when I was in college or in other settings that now it is, you know, now I don't have, we don't have enough time to just always be with our friends or always talk on the phone or whatever it is, but you have to know who you're friends with and you have to know your friend's strengths you have to know your friend's weaknesses and you have to know those about yourself like for me my friends know that i'm not the type of person usually to plan things and i'm not the person that will plan um i'm not the one that'll be like hey let's da -da 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 -da. like that's usually not me unless there's a reason to celebrate or my birthday or anything because i'm just that that's just never been me but my friends know that so for me if, you know, if the, if my friends invite me somewhere or, you know, we make plans and we are we are conversing and we're making plans, then yeah, I'm going to show up. Yeah, I'm going to be there. But they're not counting on me or they're not sitting over there like, oh, y'all, I'm hungry. I just made dinner. But I need a snack. Be willing to improve those. Be willing to take that criticism not even criticism be willing to take that like if somebody if somebody comes to you and if your friend comes to you and you know they have a problem or 
you, they feel like, you know, they need some, to express something to you, you have to be willing to be receptive to that, not be offended, um, and know that hopefully they're coming to you from a place of, they're coming to you from a place of, um, you know, a friendship and they're, they're coming, their intent is positive. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody's intentions because there are some messy and petty people out there. But if you're in a healthy friendship or relationship, hopefully those are their intentions. Um, so you just have to be know and you know, be willing to keep it real with your friends, keep it real with yourself, and know like the different levels of friendship. Like there's there's my friends that I can go party with. There's my friends that I'm just cool with having a dinner. With. Ten different friend groups. I don't have to have. Oh, these are my friends that I can, you know, do this with, do this with, do this with. And not saying there's anything wrong with it because, yes, you should have different, not should, but you can have different friends and different people in your life for different reasons. Like, but my my good close-knit group of friends, I feel like they're all pretty well-rounded. Um, I'm okay with not having a lot of friends. Um, I've never been the type to have, like, a whole bunch of friends. So... I take my friendships seriously. I value them. Um, same with my relationships. Um, I'm very loyal. <laughs> um, I like to think I'm a good friend. So hopefully my friends say the same. But, um, so yeah, that, that kind of wraps up everything I was saying. Just knowing when to let go. Um, knowing that friendships change. Knowing that if you're always giving, 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 and you're never receiving, you're never um being sewn into you know whatever it is then maybe you should reevaluate and maybe it's time to reevaluate those friendships and just just be mindful of who you allow in your life um and just because just because you may be you may have history with this person a lot of us cling on to history well i've been knowing them for the, this amount of time and you know whatever that don't mean you got to keep them around because if they're not beneficial to you and they're not helping you or there's no reason really for y'all to be friends then it's fine let it go and it it should it don't have to end messy like i said i've never had drama in my friend groups i've never had i've never like fell out with somebody and it's been like a nasty you know oh i'm gonna go to social media and tell y'all like i've never had that i've never had drama um and I just think that's, like I said, it's just all part of communication and being being grown. Like, we too old, especially at this age. Like, I feel like I'm too old for drama. Like, I don't have time. So, anyways, that just kind of, like I said, that's just been something that's been on my heart to talk about friendships. Because, especially recently, um, with, like I said, with this and just things that I've done. And, you know, things that are coming up in my life, things that are going on in my other friend's life, like, big deals. Like, and I'm super proud of all of my friends. Um, and so that, these experiences have, you know, just really shown me a lot in, rela in relation to friendships. And just knowing what I value and knowing what I want in my life and who I want and the type of people I want in my life because there are certain people that I'm friends with now that I probably never would have thought that I would be friends with or I never thought that you know I would be talking to every day or whatever it is because my mindset wasn't there but now I have people that are in my life that are older than me that I can talk to that relate more to me that are able to build me up that are able to listen to oh I'm going through this and they're able to you know like I have those people in my life where as before, I I was just having fun. Like, I just thought friendships was about fun. Like, you know, like, just, there's just, there's a big difference in adult friendships. So, with that being said, just be mindful of who's around you. Be mindful of who you are as a friend and as a person. Um, actually, y'all, so, I'm going to put... There's two different tests that I really like, five love languages and the personality test. So I'm gonna put links to them both below. Um, and those really help 
first of all, you know yourself, you know, know what you need in a relationship, know what you need in a friendship, know what your personality is, kind of know, just know you better, but that also can reciprocate into your friendships. So if you know this about yourself and you're an extrovert, introvert, da 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 you have to know and love yourself first before somebody else can do do it. You can't you can't not love yourself and expect somebody else to do it for you. So, anyways, I'm gonna put those down below just if y'all wanna take them. Um, but I think those are really helpful just to kind of know and gain more insight on yourself, know who you are, know what kind of friend you are, know what kind of friend you want to be. Um, so yeah. So if you guys have any other topics or any videos that you want me to do leave them in the comments below and um i am put everything in the description box as far as what i use if you're interested um because i'm starving but i really needed to film this video so um i will see y'all in my next video 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 uh, uh, video mm. y'all i'm i'm about to be on it i'm like really proud of myself because I've been I'm not uploading as much as I want to but I'm doing pretty well. Uh -huh.